When you consider the history of football in this school and all the people who've come through the school, what does it mean to you to be a part of the offense that sets a school record with 72 points? Oh, it's, it's amazing. Uh, you know, uh, really coming into this game, we knew we can put up a lot of points, but 70 points is a lot of points, regardless of what, what we say out here. You know, we were supposed to do that, but that's a lot of points. And to uh, make that a school record with Jerry Levi's, you know, <clears throat> Eric Dickerson being here, so. It's really a big deal. Have you ever been a part of a game where your team yeah. put up 70? Never. High school? Never. Pop Warner, anything? Never. Never seen nothing like that. It's like a basketball score. So it's pretty exciting. Though. You guys have talked all year about how you leave some plays on the field. Mm -hmm. The offense is getting closer to clicking. Mm -hmm. You put up 72 points, but some of them came from the defense. Mm -hmm. Some of them came from special Whoa. teams. How do you think the offense played overall today? Uh, I think we did pretty good. We know as offense, we say we got to get better every week. And I think uh, compared to last week, we got better this week. Uh, we was able to drive the ball down the field, and not only drive the ball, but finishing the drive. You know, putting it in the end zone. So that, that was a really big step for us. You personally, nine catches, 110 yards, two touchdowns. Um, <laughs> looked like you found a different gear today. What changed between the first six weeks of the season and tonight? Uh, it's a much needed win. Uh, you know, we came off a tough, tough loss last week, and uh, talking to Coach Phillips, he told me uh, that I, I had to show up, so and, and have his back. So I, I tried to do that for him. What was Coach Phillips like this week? You're going against his old team, where he played and where he coached the last four years. Uh, what was he like in the meeting rooms or on the practice field? Was he any different this week? Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't say different, but he just pressed the issue that uh, since we were coming off a loss, that they was going to come at us hard. He knew the team. He knew the personnel very well. He knew what they were going to run. So I think we were real well prepared for what they was going to do before they did it. Coach Jones said there were some NFL scouts here tonight, some of whom are here to see you. Were you aware ahead of the game that there were some guys here looking at you? I wasn't. You, you just let me know. I, I'm happy. You didn't know way. at all? I didn't know. Definitely didn't know. Some of the receivers have, have taken some heat earlier this year about some games where some balls have been dropped. Tonight it looked like pretty much everything that was close to you guys ended up in your hands. Mm -hmm. What changed? You've had days in practice where it looks like you catch everything. Yeah. What, how were you guys able to carry that over from the practice field to the game field tonight? Um, the thing I seen different than our receivers today was just the focus, attention to detail uh, in practice. It started in the practice this week. Uh, we really made an emphasis on uh, being uh, focused in everything we do, uh, catching every ball. So practice always carries over to the game. You always hear coaches talk about how turnovers and, and takeaways are sort of contagious and come yeah. in bunches. Mm -hmm. Are catches the same way? Is that the yeah. kind of thing where if you guys as a group mm -hmm. have a good night like tonight catching the ball, it might take off and carry over yeah, the next uh, week and the week after? It definitely does. Uh, we feed off each other. Um, as a receiving core, I, I know I have to you know, sometimes pick up the, pick up the slack or motivate my teammates. So I, I think they, they feed off uh, the leaders on the team, Zach Lyon and everybody. So. What concerned you, coming into the game, what concerned you the most about the Houston defense and what was your key to attacking it tonight? Um, they had some pretty good linebackers. I was really uh, worried about uh, them getting pressure on the quarterback, but our line held up really well against them, so I was really proud of them. A few weeks ago after you guys played TCU, Coach Jones said that might have been Garrett's best game since he's been at SMU. Yeah, there were some passes that were dropped, but mm -hmm. he liked the way he read the defense. Yeah. He liked some of the throws he made. Tonight, he throws four touchdown passes, uh, 265 yards. How would you evaluate his performance tonight? Uh, I think it was his best game tonight. Uh, not just because of the stats or anything like that, but just how he handled himself in the huddle on the sidelines as a leader. He really showed himself as a leader today, and we just uh, kind of backed him up on our side as he was getting us the ball. His touchdown to Keenan Holman looked like a busted play where he yeah. had to get away from a, the pass rush, roll out a little bit. Mm -hmm. How important was it not only to make a play on a busted play like that, but to also connect on a deep ball? It, it really uh, boosted our motivation. It kind of, kind of put them on. Uh, well, we put the pressure on them basically. Uh, they really got down after that play because a busted play, things were just going our way. So it was a, uh, it was really good though. You guys had 59 points early in the th early in the fourth quarter. Houston scored a couple of times, and then you put together an eight and a half minute drive. Mm -hmm. Was that one of those drives where the time coming off the clock was even more important than the points you got at the end of it? Yeah, Coach Jones had told us on the sideline that we were going to 
be a little slower in uh, our approach and uh, try to manage the clock so we can take as much time off the clock as we need it. So I think that drive, it, it was a tiring drive though, a long, tiring drive, but we got it done and we're able to get it in the end zone, exact line. During that drive, could you sort of see the wind coming out of the sails of the Houston players a little bit? Oh yeah, you, you can definitely see it. Uh, they were getting down on themselves, uh, arguing with each other, and as an offense, that, that's what you love to see, a uh, defense all discombobulated. How, how important was this in the grand scheme of things for the season? You had a disappointing loss last week. Now you're two and one in conference. Was this a must win for you? Yeah, it's definitely a must win. Uh, if we're gonna accomplish our goal, our goal is to win the conference championship. If we're gonna get that, we have to get this one. So it was a good thing we came out with.